Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Uh, I think I've lost the keys. Hey kids, it's me, Kit. K-I-T. And should we spell your name? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we spell it M-I-L-E-S. Yeah. Miles, good job. Spelling is so fun, kids, and you should practice the alphabet at home with your parents. But that's not what our episode today is about. What's our episode today about? The moon. The moon. What is the moon? Hmm, I don't know. Is it that big thing we see in the sky sometimes? No. It's not the sun, but we do see it in the sky a lot. The moon comes out when it's nighttime and... Whoa, get out of the way! Oh. Whoa, the moon! Wow, the moon just popped up! What do you think it's made out of, Miles? Is it made out of cheese? No. Let's find out. I have some cheese. Do you want to take a bite of cheese? No. <laughs> Miles took a bite. I'm going to take a bite of cheese. <laughs> I don't think the moon is made out of cheese, though. The moon, just like our Earth, is primarily made out of rock. It's rock that's formed together in a sphere or a ball because of the immense gravity of all the rock that's there. The moon is pretty much just a giant rock, and did you know that it's Earth's largest permanent satellite? A satellite is a celestial body that orbits Earth or another planet. The Earth is a big round ball, kind of like this purple ball. In outer space, the moon orbits our Earth and the Earth orbits the Sun as part of the solar system. In outer space, the larger an object is, the more gravity it has, which means objects are attracted to it. The Moon is only a quarter of the size or one-fourth of the size of Earth, which means Earth's gravity is more powerful and it keeps the Moon in its orbit. And when you look up at the night sky and see the Moon, it might look tiny, but the Moon's actually really, really big. <gasps> It's so big, even though in the sky it looks teeny, teeny, tiny. That's because it's so far away. The moon is over 200,000 miles away, almost a quarter million miles away. That's why when we want to visit the moon, we have to get inside of a special vehicle to go visit it. What kind of vehicle do we need to get inside of, Miles? Do we need to get inside of... What if we went to the moon on a bicycle? Could we do that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no! Could we get to the moon in a car? No. What about in an airplane? Could we get to the moon in an airplane? No. No? Hmm, what would we need to get to the moon with? What do you think? What do you think, Miles? Rocket. A rocket! Rockets are the only vehicle powerful enough that we know of that can escape Earth's atmosphere and get into outer space. Here is a rocket flying right past the moon and into the stars. Rockets help us get other things into space, like this satellite or this space station and even people. In 1969, the first men landed on the moon. Here's a video of its surface. Do you see all the craters? And this is Buzz Aldrin, one of the first men to walk on the moon. He's frantically looking for his keys. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Uh, I think I've lost the keys. Okay, Buzz, you're sure in trouble. Oh, darn it. Because the moon is smaller than the Earth, it has less gravity, which means astronauts that are on the moon in space they can bounce around in a way that you can't bounce around on Earth. Can you see how these two astronauts seem to be almost floating above the surface of the moon when they walk? That's because the moon has less gravity than the Earth does, or less force pulling the astronauts down to its surface. 
Have you ever looked up at the night sky and noticed that the moon changes shapes? Let's explain to the kids why that is. Did you know that the light of the moon that you see at night is not actually emitted by the moon itself? The moon is simply reflecting light off of the sun and down to earth. As the moon orbits the earth, the portion of the moon that we can see reflecting light back changes. These changes are called the phases of the moon. As the moon is getting smaller, it's called a waning moon. And as the moon starts to get bigger, it's called a waxing moon. When only a sliver of the moon is hidden, like this, it's called a gibbous moon. When the full moon is visible, it's called a full moon. The halfway point of a waning moon is called the third quarter, and when just a sliver of the moon is visible, it's called a crescent. As the moon waxes again, the halfway point is called the first quarter. Well kids, we learned a whole lot about the moon today on Kit Explores. We learned that it's not made out of cheese, and we learned that you can't get to the moon on a bicycle, on a car, or in an airplane. You need to get into a rocket ship, or maybe a spaceship if you were an alien. Whoa, I see a bunch of aliens here. They must be coming out to say hi to us. Well, we're gonna go say hi to our new alien friends, and we're so glad you guys are our friends and watched this educational episode of Kit Explores while we explored the moon. And parents, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on social media at Kit Explores on Instagram or on Twitter. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.